Hi guys, Mike here, hope all of you are doing well. In today's video, we're gonna do a quick uranium update. Uh, just before we get started, my name is Michael Hernick. I have a YouTube channel called The Financial Mechanic. Please subscribe, click like if you want to hear more about uranium, business, economics, finance, money, stocks, real estate, and so on. Just before we get into this uh, video, nothing in this video is investment advice. You should always do your own research. This is purely for educational purposes only. Okay, so where are we in the uranium cycle? So. I shot a video about four months ago talking about how I took some money off the table in my uranium portfolio. Now, since then, the market has sort of been chopping up and down. Um, and I wanted to shoot this video because I am considering buying a significant position into uranium again. I'm still waiting on the sidelines, but I wanted to, to give you guys my philosophy, and my background on why I'm doing that. So uranium spot price per pound is $63.50. So why is it that uranium stocks have not yet exceeded the previous highs, yet the spot price is nearly 20% higher? Um, so here's my thoughts on this. So first of all, we have to be really cognizant of the fact of uh, macroeconomic factors. So we are seeing the Fed and central banks all around the world raising interest rates. So this is causing volatility in the broad markets. Now, we are going to see another rate hike likely by the U.S. Fed and the uh, Canadian central banks here, uh, Bank of Canada. And we're likely to see persistent rises in interest rates, which I feel will continue putting pressure on the broad market. Now, what's interesting with that is, is that that is coinciding with uranium and other commodities that are having upward momentum. And I do feel that that the overall broad market is suppressing the levels of where uranium and other commodities could be, including gold, silver, oil stocks, etc. Now, actually, with oil, we have seen a bit of a dip in the commodity price itself, but other commodities like gold, silver and uranium have been on the upward move. So that's number one. Number two is, is that, again, when you look at the broad market, there's a lot of capital, whether it be hedge funds and financial institutions that are just hesitant to take large positions at this point. Yet the fundamentals in the bull market are still here. So what is that to say? I feel personally that I was waiting for a pullback. I'm not going to lie, guys, in the overall uh, market, particularly in uranium, because I'm a huge uranium bull. And many of you are in this channel because of uranium. And I really appreciate you guys uh, being here and listening to my thoughts on this and uh, and so on. So what's interesting with that is, is that I was waiting on the sidelines and we although we have seen about a 10 to 14 percent pullback in the overall broad markets, again, depending on which indices you're looking at. Uranium spot rates has been rising, yet the equities are still kind of suppressed. And I know Justin uh, Hewn has talked about this in his video, Uranium Insider, check him out. Uh, he's a really, really great resource that uh, ultimately he expected the uranium equities to be higher at this point. And truthfully, I did too. Now that's not to say that uranium equities can't go down or much higher or much lower for that matter. But what I do think is the following, that given the unfortunate events of what are going geopolitically, particularly in Ukraine and Russia, and the energy crisis, and the fact that the spot price in uranium is rising uh, because of the whole fuel cycle, including utilities now coming back uh, to the table. Uh, Cameco has sort of indirectly mentioned this as well, coupled with the fact that we've got the Sprott Uranium Trust uh, that's buying a lot of pounds off the market, and if they go public on the New York Stock Exchange, then we're really going to be in for a huge move upwards. So what, why am I saying all of this? Why I'm saying all of this is, is that I'm not fully convinced that we're gonna see a huge pullback in uranium equities as I originally thought. So I will let you guys know, but I am going to be taking a, a huge tranche into more uranium equities. Not yet, I'm hoping that the price pulls back a little bit more. But it's coming soon. It might be in the next couple of days. It might be in the next couple of weeks. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know. But what I want to say is that after the broad markets do pull back from the interest rate hikes, interest rate hikes, which I do think is inevitable, at some point the Fed and the governments all around the world are going to stop raising interest rates because they're going to cause self-inflicted pain. When that stops, and when the printing presses come back on with monetary stimulus and policy choices you are going to see uranium, oil, gold and silver, other commodities go through the roof. And honestly, the way I look at uranium is if you want a ticket to play, you have to buy the ticket, right? If you don't have a ticket, you don't have the ability to take the upside, particularly 
when we're in a uranium bull market and the upside is there. But that's also not to say that we may not see lower prices. The point is, is that I don't really care if uranium equities pull back uh, too much more, even if I'm somewhat near fully allocated. Many of you are in this space because you know the fundamentals are strong, the thesis is in place, and the bull market is well on its way. But I do, did want to make a note of that. Why is it that the uranium equities aren't at uh, much higher levels? And I do think it's because the broad market is suppressing them down. But you guys, be patient. I do think that once we kind of get through the next two to four months, particularly macroeconomic factors, we may still see more pullbacks in uranium and other commodities. But when we see interest rates sort of stop rising, and when we start seeing more monetary policy, which I think is inevitable, you are going to see a huge rip in commodities. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Um, and, and, and interestingly, I think that may also coincide with when Sprott's uh, um, uh, goes public on the New York Stock Exchange, if it does go in, uh, through, that is to say. So comment below. What do you guys think? Let me know. I'm really excited. I'm keeping an eye on the uranium market and I'll keep you guys posted and uh, keep in touch that way. So again, please comment, click like and subscribe if you like this channel. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a great day.